Now let's see how to test a capillary blood sample. You need the test strip container with the supplied code chip and the lancing device. For example, the AccuCheck Safety Pro Plus lancets. First slide the code chip into the slot on top of the meter until you feel it snap into place. Place the meter on a level, vibration-free surface or hold it in your hand so it is roughly horizontal. Turn the meter on by pressing the on-off button. Wait until the main menu is displayed. And then check the battery level, date and time. Now, touch the patient test button or select a patient from the patient list. The new button can be used to enter the ID through the keypad. The test strip icon prompts you to insert a test strip. Remove a test strip from its container and close the container again immediately with the stopper to prevent damage to the strips. Hold the test strip so the lettering is facing upward and slide it into the test strip guide. The hourglass icon shows that the test strip is warming up. Then, the blood drop icon flashes to indicate that the meter is ready to perform the test and is waiting for blood to be applied. At the same time, a 180 second countdown begins. You have to apply the drop of blood within this time frame, otherwise you'll receive an error message. Now prick the side of a fingertip with the lancing device. Apply the first drop of blood from the finger within 15 seconds of lancing the fingertip. Applying blood after this period of time would falsify the result. Apply the blood from the fingertip by touching the blood drop against the side of the sample application area. Alternatively, the blood can be directly applied from the finger from above the transparent sample application area of the test strip. Alternatively, a non-heparinized capillary tube can be used. During the application process, you must hold the blood drop to the test strip until the flashing blood drop icon has disappeared. The meter performs an automatic quality control test on the test strip. After a successful onboard quality control, QC and a tick appear in the display. The result is displayed and it is automatically saved to memory. By pressing the comment button on the result screen, you can assign up to three predefined comments to an INR result. The custom button at the bottom can be used to enter free text of up to 20 characters. You have successfully completed the measurement. You can now remove the test strip from the measurement chamber and turn the meter off 